Hi everyone, I am the Mad Hatter Matador and this is a introduction to immigration. So once you are uh, above headquarters level 15, then you can immigrate using immigration tickets. You get immigration tickets, you can buy them in the cash mall under the other, uh, under the rare items. Uh, the first one is of course the cheapest and after that they grow in price every three days or 72 hours the stock will replenish. The other place that you can get them is for alliance coins in the alliance shop. Um, in your weekly offers there is one at restocks every week. And then uh, if your alliance does stock them they can be in the other tab. This alliance I'm in here on my mini uh, is moving to a new state and is stocking immigration flight tickets. Um, now there are many reasons to uh, want to move. Maybe your state is dying, maybe there's something exciting happening in a new state, maybe your state is too violent for you, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so let's have a look at where we can go. Um, first off, if you try to move too far, then the game will tell you that your account is too old. For this, which one did I pick? Uh, 721. To move to 721, I would need to wait 200, no, need to wait 145 days before I can immigrate to that state. Luckily, we're not moving there. We are moving to 621. Um, if I want to move here, it doesn't tell me anything about the amount of days that I need to wait. Um, the only red cross here is that I am in an alliance. Uh, there are quite a few rules here. Um, open resources above your warehouse limit will be lost. Okay, so I also have enough flights tickets as you can see there. If you press on that little uh, exclamation mark, you can see what it costs for each H headquarter level. Um, I'm at 29 on this account, so it costs 12. It goes up quite a bit as you reach the higher headquarter levels. So I would advise finding a forever home before you go too high in your headquarter levels. Um, some other stuff to note when you uh, are planning to immigrate is that look at your resources. If it's all protected, then you won't lose anything. Any un unprotected resources you will lose, and I would advise giving them away to other people that might be staying. Um, so I am not above the protected resources on any of mine. Uh, another place to look is in your uh, warehouse, your Alliance warehouse. If you have anything stored there, uh, it will go back to you as soon as you uh, quit the Alliance. As we can see there, some of the people have quite a bit of resources stored there. And if they quit the Alliance to uh, immigrate, then they will lose that. Okay, so I am just going to donate to Tech before I go. Always a good idea build up those alliance coins, help your alliance. And then I'm going to quit the alliance. Okay, there we go. Uh, 621. Make very sure that you uh, do pick the correct state because uh, after immigration you will need to wait 30 days before you can immigrate again. So apart from just the ticket cost, it does keep you put for 30 days. So there, it is giving me a little countdown before I can hit confirm. 
just so that it can sync in. State 621, here I come. Um, when entering a new state, it is advisable to wear a shield, at least until you are in your alliance in the new state. Um, most states have some different various levels of nap, and you don't want to be attacked before you are in your alliance. <coughs> Sorry about that. A little bit of sneeze there. So, I am part of Valhalla, and I have joined. There we go. And that's all I have to say on uh, immigration. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Bye.